Hello, I'm teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to watch a class, let me explain how it works. Today, our topic is how to order takeout in English. If you have a question during the class, you can write your question in the comment section and I'll answer it at the end of the class. I also have a few questions for you at the end of my lesson to check what you've learned and you can write your answers in the comments section as well. So before we get started with today's lesson, let's review what we learned in last week's class in case you missed it. So last week we talked about the three elements to effective learning. So I took you through all of them, starting with first learning the grammar and vocabulary, then practicing your speaking, and then having fun while you are learning English. So I told you about our new product called ABBA Unlimited. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later, but in case you missed this class and you want to watch it again, go to the video section of our Facebook page and there you can find all of our previous classes so you can watch them again as often as you want. You can take notes, you can share them on your own Facebook page, or you can tag someone who you think might want to watch them. Okay, so now let's move on to today's topic, which is how to order takeout. Okay, so imagine you are living or traveling in an English speaking country and you decide one evening you want to just stay in and order some food uh, for dinner. So let's learn some useful vocabulary for how to do that successfully so you get the right order at the right time. Okay, so you'll have to call. The first thing you'll need to do is to call the restaurant where you want your food delivered from, okay? So you can say something like, good evening, I'd like to place an order for delivery, okay? So to place an order means to order, to order something. Okay, or simply, hello, I'd like to order, and then you say whatever it is that you, that you want, okay? Not all restaurants deliver, so you'll probably need to ask. Um, do you do home delivery, okay? And they'll tell you, yes or no, or if there's an extra charge, etc. okay? Um, or if you want to pick it up, if you don't want to pay the delivery fee, you can say, is it possible to come and pick up the food? So they'll say, yes, it will be ready in half an hour, for example, and you can stop by the restaurant and pick it up, okay? So when you order your food, there are some special requests that you might want to make, okay? So keep in mind, if you want extra something, this is uh, something that already comes with your meal, but you want more of it, okay? So if you order a burger and you want extra ketchup or extra mustard, it means you want more than is already uh, given, okay? And if you want something left off of your meal because you don't like it or you're allergic, etc., you can say no pickles, no onions, no pineapple, things like that. Okay, if you ask for a side of something, normally uh, if you order a full meal, you'll have your main dish and it will come with sides. So something like potatoes or vegetables or things like that. So you can say a side of whatever it is you want to order, a side of rice, a side of salad, okay? On the other hand, if you want something on the side, it means that you want an ingredient that normally comes uh, together, you want it left uh, in a container on the side. So these are things like sauces and salad dressings, okay? Because a lot of times, uh, by the time it gets to your house, maybe it's uh, the lettuce and your salad would be soggy if it had the dressing on it, so you might want to get it on the side, okay? Uh, not too spicy, so if you order something like a curry or Mexican food, you, uh, you might ask if you don't like spicy food, please don't make it too, too spicy, okay? If you want to add something, this means that you are asking for something that doesn't, uh, that doesn't come normally with the, with the meal. So you can say, can I add uh, chips? Can I add a salad? Okay, so you'll have to pay extra or pay a supplement for this additional item, okay? And if you want to make a change, uh, for example, can I substitute, okay? So can I substitute french fries for salad, for example, okay? So this isn't always possible, but you can, uh, you can ask if it, if it is. All right, I see many people are joining already. We have Paula, Karen, Zach, Vladimir, Syed, and Pilar say hello. So thank you for watching, okay? Hanif asks, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, we do. 
Uh, if you go to YouTube and you type ABBA English, you can find many of these videos, the live streaming videos and other interesting videos on our ABBA English YouTube channel. So definitely check that out. Thank you for asking. Okay, so moving on. When you are ordering food, maybe you're ordering for your whole family, so you might want to ask the restaurant if they have a children's menu because many times the, uh, the items will be different, the food will be different, or maybe smaller portions and uh, the price will be lower, so you might want to ask that. Do you have a vegetarian or vegan option? So if you're vegan or vegetarian, maybe the restaurant would be willing to prepare something for you without meat. Okay, if you have celiacs, do you have a gluten-free option? Okay, so you might need to ask the restaurant that if you're not able to eat bread or pasta or things like that. And you might just ask, do you have any special offers? So they might say, yes, tonight we have a two-for-one on pizzas, or we have a buy one, get one free, etc. Okay, uh, going back to vegetarian, maybe you can ask them to substitute the meat for something else, okay? So can you substitute for tofu, seitan, tempeh, etc.? So you can ask if you're a vegetarian if this is possible, okay? And it's important to let the restaurant know about your food allergies if you do have any. So you say, I'm allergic to uh, pineapple, pepper, seafood, whatever it is, so that they make sure they don't uh, put it on, the, on your food, okay? Something else, if you're lactose intolerant, that means that you cannot eat or drink any milk, any uh, dairy products. So that's like milk, cheese, etc. So that's important uh, to let the restaurant know if you're lactose intolerant as well. Okay, and finally, how are you going to pay for your meal, okay? If you order online, normally uh, you will pay with your credit card or sometimes you can choose the option of paying in cash upon delivery. So when they actually bring you your food, you would pay in cash so you can ask uh, first, is there a charge for delivery? Sometimes there's a minimum amount that you have to order for them to deliver it, or if not, they'll charge you a delivery fee. So this could be uh, two or three euros, two or three dollars, depending on where you live, how far you live from the restaurant. Okay, so you can say, can I pay by card? Can I pay by cash? Okay, and you'll want to let them know if you have a coupon or a discount that you can apply to the, uh, the price of your meal. Okay, and finally, you'll need to give them your name and address so that they can bring it to you. Okay, so it's a good idea to spell out your name, especially if you have a name that's a little bit um, different, that's not common. So my name is Robin, R-O-B-I-N, okay? And you can tell them your address, spell that out for them as well. So I live at 25 Newport Road, spell out the, the address. Sometimes if they don't understand the letter that you're saying, maybe M and N sound uh, similar, so you need to say something like as in N, as in North, E, as in East, Elephant, etc. So sometimes you have to do that just to make sure that it's clear, okay? And give them specific instructions. If you live somewhere that's a little bit difficult to find, like it's the apartment on top of the laundromat, okay? So give them indicators, key um, places to make it easy for them to find your food. That way it will be delivered as quick as possible. You won't have the delivery person calling you, telling you that, uh, that they're lost, okay? So make it as easy as possible for them. All right, so now that we've looked at the different ways that you can order takeout, I want to ask you uh, about your experience with this. So. Do you ever order takeout, so in your hometown or when you travel? And what do you usually order? So what's your favorite thing to order um, for delivery? And do you have any special requests or allergies? So how would you tell the restaurant about these if you do have them, okay? So write your answers in the comments. As you're doing that, let me go back to this uh, new product that we have available at ABBA. So our unlimited um, package, this includes a, a month subscription to our course. I'm gonna tell you more about the course in just a second. So the ABBA course, as well as uh, unlimited subscription to our one-to-one -one classes, our private classes, so you can pra practice your speaking. And then we have a uh, one month subscription to Netflix. So this is a great way for you to practice your English by watching films, by watching documentaries, TV shows, 
whatever you can in English, this is a great way to practice. So all of this is included in our unlimited package, so you can find this on our website. Okay, uh, the first part of the package, the ABBA course, this is made up of 144 units from beginners to business level. So each unit has a short film, a video class explaining the grammar, and then exercises for you to practice all of your skills, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Okay, so again, go to our website if you want to sign up and see what offers we have for you. With us at ABBA, we have many other resources available as well. We have our blog, which is called our ABBA Journal. So there you can find articles about grammar, culture, English for business, English for travel, all kinds of really good information. And we are also available on all of the social media networks. So Facebook, YouTube, as uh, someone asked, Twitter and Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, please check us out because we have many useful posts every day, stories, videos, and IGTV. So these are really, really helpful for you. And let's see now who is joining us. We see Ahmed, Pilar, Joy, Pocahontas. What a nice name. Uh, Carlos, Amra, they all say hello. Nice class. Okay, that's great. It's good to have you. Let me tell you about next week's class if anyone is still writing in the comments. We're going to go back to a uh, grammar topic, a little bit more advanced one, but please feel free to watch and follow along. We're going to look at parallel structures and verb coordination. So this is going to help you write, be a better writer and to, uh, to sound more fluent because when your sentences flow and connect correctly, then you sound like a better English speaker. So that's really important. Okay, let's see if anyone else has asked a question. Ibrahim, all right, he wants to know if you can download the, the app on your laptop. No, so we have two different things. So these, it's the same, but it's two different formats. Okay, so we have the, the web version of the course, so that's your campus. So there you sign in on our website and you can, uh, you can study online. Then if you download the app on your phone, so whether you have Android or iOS, you can also study from our app. And your progress is saved on both of those devices. So whether you do one or both, um, you, your progress will be updated and you can study whenever is most convenient for you. So you can study on your computer at home and then when you're traveling to work, you can study from your, from your phone. Okay, so that's a great question. Thank you, Ibrahim, for sharing that. Okay. So, Mike, how much is the course? Okay, I encourage you to go to our website and you will find all that information there. Okay, so I want to thank everyone who has joined us today. Oh, sorry. And uh, we are so happy to have you with us. Please, I hope you can join us next week for our class on parallel structures and verb coordination. Again, check out the offer we have right now, this new product, ABBA Unlimited. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Keep writing in the comments, and we'll see you next time. Bye.